forgot your bag. I'm lost. Hi, this is Ariana from The Mood Darling. And this October, I wanted to do quite a few fashion film videos. I wanted to focus on costumes and characters that would be easy to replicate for this upcoming Halloween. If we can celebrate Halloween this year. The first costume that I wanted to do this year is from a science fiction classic from the 1980s. Blade Runner. And so I wanted to focus on the costume, or one of the costumes for a priest. She is a replicant in the movie. So, a little background about the movie. This movie is based in a post-apocalyptic futuristic world, which was actually 2019, so now in the past, but the time in the future. And it is based in Los Angeles, where most humans have left, not just Los Angeles, but the world, to go to other worlds. And so now there's just a lot of very poor humans left on the world. So one of these humans who's left on Earth is a cop named Deckard, and he is tasked with killing a bunch of replicants who have somehow made it back to Earth even though they're supposed to be, well, on another planet. And one of these replicants is Priest. Replicants are basically androids. Priest's model is basically a quote-unquote pleasure model, so she's basically a sex slave. That adds an interesting dynamic to the character herself, but also, more importantly, her costumes. Today, I want to focus on one costume of hers, which is very much iconic, and I actually remember seeing uh, back in the day on lookbook.new, I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but I used to be obsessed with it back in high school. Anyway, I saw somebody do a Halloween costume of her, uh, also based off of this outfit, and that's also kind of what inspired me to do the series uh, <laughs> 10 years ago, which um, which is also kind of what inspired me to talk about priests because I just really loved this costume and I liked how adaptable it was. So basically the base of her costume is a romper with a mesh top underneath, tights that are very ripped but they're the type of tights that you have to attach to a garter. Of course her makeup is really iconic and I think that's the part that makes this outfit so recognizable. She basically has a black line going across her face and very blonde pl platinum hair. The costume designers of Blade Runner, Michael Kaplan and Charles Node, basically wanted to have Priest's costumes be influenced by the 1980s punk scene that was currently happening in 1982 when this film came out, uh, but also prior to when they were creating the costumes. And with punk, there is very much a strong sense of rebellion against all types of establishments, whether it was the government, familial, or societal. And this makes sense for somebody like Priest, who obviously does not benefit from this society, so she rebels along with a group of other replicants to go to Earth where maybe they can be free. Also very much against the government because, well, she's going against it. <laughs> so it's an interesting comparison of 1980s punk and a film that very much has characters who are really going against and rebelling the establishment. I feel like Bruce's character's outfit also very much looks like a stereotypical cliched prostitute with the tights and, well this is a romper, but the short skirts. So it also kind of brings back her identity, which as an android is kind of her only identity, so very much brings back 
the base of who she is. While she doesn't have that much screen time on the film, it's obviously clear that she wants to have more and not just be that and not just be a slave. So she and the others are rebelling against it. Priest is kind of a badass and so why not dress up like her? She is a very rebellious person, not only in how she dresses, but in her actions. And well, why not be somebody like that for Halloween? For my costume, I wanted to keep it as close as possible to what the film is. I really wanted to use only things from my wardrobe because I wanted to make it as accessible for everybody as possible. And so I'm wearing this like kind of sweat suit material dress that I got from an Irish Urban Outfitters I think about four years ago. Underneath I'm wearing tights from Spanx uh, that are really cool because they have kind of this fishnet pattern but there's more um, stitching in between each uh, fishnet stitch if that makes sense. Along with that, I'm wearing vintage cowboy boots that I've had for the better part of a decade. And for the makeup, of course, I had to do that. I had to do the black line. So I hope that you liked this video. I hope it gives you inspiration for a character to dress up as it for Halloween. If you liked this video, then please like and subscribe below. That would really help me out. And I'll see you in the next Halloween video.